everyone. I am going to show you in this video how to create your Teams meeting for your classes so that any of your LAMP teachers or exceptional ed teachers will be able to access your meeting classroom and have presenting rights and you don't have to update it every time, every day when they try to get in. Um, so I have split my screen so that way um, it makes it a little easier. You can just copy what I'm doing, have your video on the right and then have Microsoft Outlook open on the left. So once you have that ready, um, we can get started, but if you need a second to get set up, um, go ahead and press pause here until you have Outlook on the left and the YouTube video you're watching right now on the right. So I'm going to minimize this. Um, and so this is actually on the right now, I have um, the instructions on how to do this written out. So if you're a visual person, this might help you um, see what we're doing. So the first thing you're gonna do is open up your Outlook calendar. So that's down here on the left. Um, you can see it looks like a calendar. You're gonna click that. Once you have your calendar open, you're going to set up a new team meeting. So if you can see my cursor right here, it's the purple button, new team meeting. Mine opened on my other screen, so I'm going to drag it over here. Okay, so you're going to give your meeting a title. It doesn't matter. You can you can use the same meeting group for every content that you're working with. Um, so I'm just going to label mine meeting. So the date and the time does not matter. I repeat, the date and the time does not matter. Your meeting group will stay open forever indefinitely. You do not need to put a specific date and time. It does not matter, okay? So um, one of the, the thing that's important here is um, adding the people who are going to be popping into your classroom. If you put it in this required section, if you put their email addresses in there, so let's say um, Jennifer is my exceptional ed teacher and Kimberly is my um, PE teacher and uh, Suzanne is my music teacher, so on and so, so forth. Anyone who is popping into your meeting that will be hosting um, a class from your meeting, you want to add them there and that will automatically give them presenter rights. So when they have those presenter rights, they'll be able to take over the class and you can step away. Once you have the people in your group that you want to be presenters, you're going to go ahead and click on meeting options and that'll open up a new tab. So if you have the YouTube video going right now, just go ahead and take this tab and move it over to the other side. So that way you can keep watching the video on the right side and do what you need to on the left side. Pause if you need a moment to catch up. So here, it's this is an extremely important step. Since we're dealing with the students, you want them to be in the lobby. You want to be able to have control over who can get in um, at what time. So you want to click this drop down and click only me. So that way, when students click on the link to your classroom, they will be told that they have to wait. So that way, if you're if you send your classroom link to um, a student for a one-on-one -on -one meeting and you're meeting one-on-one -on -one with that student and then another student clicks on your classroom link, 
they you'll get an alert that says blah blah is trying to get into your meeting and you can make it so that they can't get in so that way you don't have students popping in and out of your meeting at all times so again who can bypass the lobby only me that is extremely important um announce when callers join or leave this is good for the attendance piece it can say it can tell you what students are um there and when they leave um so who can present here you can put specific people so again this um these are the people that i added to the invite in outlook so those are your lamp teachers your exceptional ed teachers so this way you add these people here and they will always have presenting rights. If you do not do this step, you will have to grant them presenting rights every time that they try to enter your meeting. So again, you wanna make sure that who can present, you're clicking on specific people, then you're adding, you're clicking that drop down, and you're adding those people individually, who are your LAMP teachers and your exceptional ed teachers. And then you're going to press save. So now, if you go back to this meeting, you're going to click and copy this hyperlink. Um, if you copy this hyperlink and then go to your Schoology course, school, Schoology course, sorry. If you go to your Schoology course, you're gonna go to updates. So you're just pasting in, there we go. You're pasting in your team meeting link. If you want this to stay at the top of your class, then you just click that little bell and press post. So my banner will go away. And there it is at the top. And the students can click that. In another video, I will show you how to make it so that you can have a banner so that if they click on the banner, it'll, it will take them to that Teams meeting. So just make sure that you um, keep track of the link to your Teams meeting. Um, I hope that was helpful and email me if you have more questions.